What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video let's talk about animations. Uh, this was one of the most requested videos on this channel. Uh, ever since I started making uh, Flutter videos, people were requesting me to do uh, UA stuff and uh, UA challenges and all these stuff like uh, other channels. But I thought uh, maybe we should just take it from the beginning and then slowly transition into all those cool stuff that you see whenever someone mentions Flutter. So now that we have covered most of the basics on uh, how a Flutter app looks and the architecture of a Flutter app and all those uh, widgets and all those stuff, I thought uh, we'd start with animations today, some basic animations today. Okay, so uh, in this particular video, let's see how to uh, create a simple login form with a couple of fields maybe. And then rather than just throwing the form up on the screen uh, right away, let's just try to make it ease into the screen. Let us fly from the... Uh, fly from outside the screen to the center of the screen something like that okay let's see how to do that okay i have a blank application here scaffolded out cool right uh, all sort of animation effects animation helpers are all contained inside the animation dot dot component package flutter animation dot dot just import it Okay, now that we have imported, let's go ahead and uh, create a animation object, animation, animation, and we also need a controller animation, uh, anime, sorry, anime, cool, right? And here simply extend uh, uh, with state of single ticker provider state mixing. Ticker is nothing but uh, it's to it reports back information about every uh, frame of the animation, something like that. Okay, so uh, you'll you'll understand that how and you'll understand how that works when you start working with animations. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, overwrite the init state method first. We want the animation to happen naturally, right? You're not going to click any button to trigger it. So override void init state and uh, super dot init state and uh, animation sorry animation animation controller uh, equals animation controller maybe two and uh, we also need to set we sync this fine the next thing we need to do is uh, do the actual animation what should actually happen for that we need to specify you need to use a tween tween is nothing but it's used for uh, giving the input and output ranges of the animation what should happen in this particular animation uh, how the animation should start how the animation should end that's exactly uh, that range is exactly tween so i am simply specifying begin uh, i'll bring it from the left side so minus 1.0 and uh, end 0, 0.0 so it will just stay on the center the form will just stay on the center and uh, dot sorry dot uh animate what shall we do we'll do a curved animation curved animation ah my alignment keeps playing with me uh parent you need to specify controller animation controller and uh, one more curve we need to specify what sort of animation we need. Uh, we'll do a fast and uh, slow. Out. Sorry, not uh, stop fast. In, fast out, slow in. Sorry, fast out, slow in. This is like the animation will start fast, but uh, as it nears its end, it'll just slow down. So it'll look like as if it's easing in. You get my point, right? Wait, I'll show it to you on the screen, and you you'll understand what I'm trying to stress here. Mm, this is fine. Now we need to start the animation. To start the animation, simply do animation dot forward. This will actually start the that is trigger the animation. Okay, 
not animation dot forward sorry animation controller dot forward animation controller is the one that actually controls everything uh, you can also specify status listeners to uh, get particular details about what's happening with the animation at any given point of time stuff like that but since this is a basic video let's just uh, you know simply carry on with the basics all right now that we have uh, specified what animation we need we need to specify what uh, the anim the actual stuff that we are going to animate right so in a sense rather than having each and every field of the form fly in what i'll do is i'll uh, bring in a container and simply make the entire container fly in into the screen so how am i going to do that first i need to specify uh, with so final double with equals media query dot of context dot uh, size sorry size dot with okay uh, the next thing is we need to return something return animated builder this is where we'll build the actual stuff that's going to be animated uh, return animated builder inside this uh, animation animation controller and uh, uh, builder builder will have a context and a child so build context context child okay it's a function uh, as usual return scaffold scaffold uh, inside the scaffold i'll simply do a transform transform uh, transform matrix 4 dot translate sorry, translation values we need to specify three uh, values for x y and z uh, dimensions so what I'll do is the first one I'll simply give animation dot value whichever value is happening inside the animation since my animation is going to happen on the x-axis okay uh, from uh, somewhere from the left to the uh, center of the screen animation value into width okay and these two can be 0.0, .0 since I'm not messing with those right now okay this is done uh, the next thing we need to do is specify child I'll child I'll have a container we'll just try with a simple first we'll just try with a simple text field if it works then we can replicate that same thing all over so text uh, login style equals sorry not equals style Wow, our app has opened up. Let's see if the uh, login flies in from the left side and then slows down as it nears the center of the screen. Wow, you saw that nice animation, right? It just flew in from the left and then moved to the center of the screen smoothly. So, so far so good. Our animation is working fine. Let's just add in, a, throw in a few more uh, fields inside our login form so that it looks like a real login page. I'll rather cut it here and then uh, resume the video as soon as we, uh, you know, after adding all the fields, guys, so that you can save, I mean, we can save a bit of time. The reason being, I have already shown all these widgets a lot of times. So, yeah, I'll just, all right, our app has launched. Let's see how the animation uh, comes in. Wow, that was really good, right? You saw that it simply flew in from the left side and these buttons are clickable but they don't have anything any functions written uh, there and our login form simply looks really awesome right 
and it just you know flew in now you might wonder uh, now that our animation is working fine we can tweak it slightly and uh, this minus one and zero if you remember i told you while typing right it flew in from the left side so if i increase this to plus one it should fly in from the right side to the center right minus one zero uh, plus one that's how it is minus one is left side uh, on the x-axis completely on the x-axis this entire thing is happening on the x-axis this transformation so let's see uh, how that works once again a fresh restart i need to do a fresh restart wow you saw that it flew in from the right side into the center of the screen right so this is minus one this is zero this is plus one and the animation is happening along the uh, x-axis so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today now we saw a very very basic animation using which you can present a cool uh, effect in your uh, login pages right so uh, in our forthcoming videos we'll see more animation related stuff uh, also i needed a suggestion from you guys uh, would you like to uh, you know uh, get a course i was thinking of maybe making a course with all these animation uh, stuff guys there is a lot of stuff to cover in this animations and i have barely scratched the surface now uh, you can produce any sort of cool animation that uh, you see in all those ui mockups nowadays using flutter i mean the engine is so powerful that the library is so powerful that you could produce any sort of cool looking animation uh with flutter so uh, kindly let me know if you would like to see a course with all these animations clearly explained in it like 30 or 40, uh, 40 videos uh course uh, so that uh, uh, you know i'll be ready to make one and provide you with it so yeah guys uh, that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about in this video in uh, we in our next videos we'll see more cool stuff with uh, animations as well and uh, thanks for watching guys kindly subscribe to watch more cool stuff like this it's free come on so get hit the thumbs up button and i'll uh, talk to you guys in my next video bye